Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is a day, a fibromyalgia day. I got up thinking, yep, I have so many things to do today and none of them are probably going to happen today. I don't know. I have changed my shirt probably four times because it just feels weird on my skin. I've got sweatpants on, so I'm good. I'm good with that. My laundry is overflowing, so I did put a load of laundry in. Did that. I edited a video. Did that. Kind of curled my hair a little bit, and I think that I may, I'm going to end up going back to bed. I don't know. I've got a couple of videos that I want to make. Some with my cast iron skillet. I want to make a pizza in my cast iron skillet which I'm not doing today because last night we ordered a pizza. All right, I needed to sit down. Last night we ordered a pizza because we had I had my grandkids all day yesterday and I was I was feeling okay. I was feeling all right. I took them outside and it was like in the 50s in this Ohio weather, I'm telling you. It was in the 50s. I took them outside and I was outside for a little while and started getting achy. So I told him, I'm gonna go in the house, I'll watch you from outside the window. The, it's, yeah, it's close. So I did that and then, all right, I had to move again. I can't get comfortable. So I did that and within 20 minutes, I really started aching bad. I really started aching bad. So my daughter texted me and said, have the kids ready. I'm going to take them. I'm going to run to Target. So I did that, went outside with them, and it was pouring down rain. And I'm like, no wonder, no freaking wonder I started to ache. It started to rain. The rain was coming. So I came home, and I just went to bed. And I probably slept most of the night. I mean, I went to bed like at 4 o'clock and fell asleep and was up on and off. So we ordered a pizza. We do that on those kind of nights. Domino's is our friend. I think I probably have two spoons left today. Just two spoons. And I don't know if you guys know what that means, but trying to describe chronic fatigue or chronic pain to somebody, say you have 10 spoons and that is your energy. You have 10 spoons for the day. You can do 10 things for the day. That's your energy. Well, I've already wiped out half my spoons and I have two spoons left, which means I could probably do two more things. One of them might be the laundry. Putting it in the dryer and then it's probably gonna stay in the dryer till tomorrow and I'll turn the dryer back on and then fold everything. And the other one might be deciding what we're having for dinner. I'm always positive about this. I don't ever want anybody to feel sorry for me because I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia when I was 19 years old and I'm like 53 yeah, now. So I've lived with this all my life and I've accepted that when my body needs to go to sleep, we need to go to sleep and I need to lay down. And the day is a wash, but that's okay because there's always tomorrow and I might feel better tomorrow. So I always stay positive about this. Plus I've had, you know, two neck fusions and I've a rod in my spine that I had two years ago. I had surgery on my spine and thoracic area. I've got this rod happening and that causes a lot of pain, a lot of pain. So there's days that I feel fine. My back just needs to lay down. So I, I you, know, you do what your body says you need to do. That's what you do. You learn to, listen to your body and just do what it says and it helps a whole lot that my husband is very understanding when I say I have to go to bed he helps me get in there sometimes and he's he's just he's okay with dominoes once in a while and it helps that my family understands all my kids my parents everybody understands it's okay if mom has to miss something or lay down or I've missed birthdays, I've missed Mother's Days, I've missed holidays, I've missed a few things because I can't get out of bed. And they understand that and boy, that makes this a lot easier. 
Alright, I want to show you the, this great idea that I have. I'm going to make a video about this. But do you see this baker's rack? I started taking things off of it because I want to make an indoor greenhouse out of this baker's rack. I started looking on Amazon and pricing them. And there, I mean, indoor greenhouses can get expensive or you could get them cheaper. And I'm thinking, where the heck am I going to put the thing? My husband and I downsize. We don't have a basement. The garage is my husband's domain, which is, he wouldn't have cared if I put it in there. But I don't, I don't want to put it in there because I want it in the house. I don't have room in my big closet. So I thought, my baker's rack. I can use my baker's rack and make a greenhouse out of that. So I've been getting supplies from Amazon and I stopped at the dollar store and everything. So I'm going to make a video on how I'm going to do that hopefully it works because I'd like to start growing little seeds in here to put in our garden we're gonna make a raised bed garden this year and we'll make a video about that too I'm sure we make a video about everything in this life now it's just fun it's addicting it's addict I do like I like to edit so if you want to edit a video you got to film the video right <coughs> there goes my dog and we don't need barking there either oh and I want to show you something else now I asked my husband I got a glow I look like an angel all right, well, let me turn around. Now I look like a ghost. Back to the window. Now I asked my husband if we could get chickens and he said no. Now, my husband never tells me no, ever, ever. Everything's okay, we can do whatever. I mean, realistically, but I said, do you think we could like put a little chicken coop out there? I don't want a lot of chickens. I just want a couple chickens just because I want the poop for the garden and I want to eat the eggs. He said no. So here's my chicken. Let me show you my chickens. The only chickens and roosters that I'll ever have. Well, they're roosters, I think. But let me show these to you. There they are. There it is. Right now, that's the extent of my chicken coop. You want to see what dinner's going to be? White Castle sliders with french fries in my air fryer. Well, not the with sliders. When you don't have the energy to make dinner, you have a frozen dinner. Normally I have my groceries delivered because that just takes one thing out of my day that I don't I don't have to go walk around a store. So normally I do that or I order from Walmart and go pick it up. I am going to bed for the day to binge watch some YouTube videos and I will see you